What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with the awesome Golf Simulator software to show you this new connection with the Foresight Sports GC3 Golf Launch Monitor. Now that's the same hardware as the Bushnell Launch Pro. And if you didn't see my recent update video talking about the price changes of Bushnell Launch Pro, and then also different enhancements with the Foresight Sports bundles like the awesome Golf Simulator software now becoming an included lifetime license. Make sure you check out that video. There's a lot of information in there. Today I'm going to show you the connection. We'll give you a first look at all the different features and games and things that this golf simulator software offers. I really think this is going to open a door to a lot of PGA professionals and coaches alike that are working with junior golfers. This awesome golf simulator software was meant to be fun. So it's really going to be engaging for those younger golfers that you just want to have fun with out playing games maybe, and you can use it out on the range. So it actually works with more entry level PCs and also mobile devices like your iOS, iPad, and you can connect it out on the range and maybe you're doing target practice, different games, things like that. It's very engaging. So I think it's going to really help those coaches and PGA professionals with junior golfers to have fun with the game and be able to do it on a more mobile you know, platform at the same time. So let's go ahead and just show you the connection first. So I'm connected via USB today. The nice part is, is you can do Wi-Fi too. So when you're using the iPad out on the range, you can just do Wi-Fi. But when you launch the software on your PC, it's as simple as this. All you do is launch it, hit the Foresight Sports button. It's going to search and find the device that's connected via USB. And then you're gonna hit the button and connect. I mean, it's that simple. You don't need like a launcher software, any type of you know third-party connection, nothing like that. Um, it's just going to recognize your license based on your awesome golf login, and then you're connected. Um, so very simple stuff. All right, wanted to point that out and show that connection. And then we're just gonna kind of take you through some various modules. Now, I won't be able to cover every single thing today, but make sure you go out, look at my other awesome golf uh, videos because I go out and play full, I know nine holes of golf and everything on here. So check that out. But let's go to the range first. Let's go to shot by shot and let's show you what the range looks like. We'll start with the overview and then I'll show you how you can just switch right to that detail view when you're out here. So first thing first, I just want to take a shot. Now I do have that single dot on my iron. That's going to give me my club data on GC3 or Bushnell Launch Pro. Things like club speed, angle of attack, path. Um, but let's go ahead and hit a shot. All right, not a terrible shot to start things off. Wasn't as crisp as I'd like to see. You can see my spin uh, just a little low for what I normally have. And let's go ahead and go over here and show you. Now look, I have club speed, I have ball speed, I have launch angle, I have back spin, side spin in an RPM format. I have carry and total and kind of a, a graphical depiction of the launch direction and then also an overhead view of the flight. Now if I wanted to, I can go right up here to where you see overview and I can actually change that to detail. Now it's going to give me all the data parameters that are being provided, including club path and angle of attack, everything. All right, and then kind of like an apex 2D view, that side view of the flight. <clears throat> and then I can also from here actually switch back and add a target even and change how I fly with the ball, whatever it may be. So let's do this, let's go to overview. Let's go to turn on a target. Let's go, it's my eight iron I'm hitting, so let's go to like 155, 156, whatever. And then now we're going to fly with the ball. All right, so right here. So that's actually the landing of my first shot. And this was something I was actually going to point out to Awesome Golf, that after the shot is hit, I think it should probably reset behind the golfer. And I don't know if it does it or not, maybe just because we switched. Um, let's go ahead and hit one and see if uh, that resets or if it stays in that view. But check this out. Now it's gonna fly with the ball with a target. A little better strike that time. So if you want to fly with the ball in, in 3D, check it out. You got your 3D, you see your target, see the landing, see how my spin was higher that time? So it does stay here. I think I'm going to recommend to them to have it go back behind afterwards. You know, maybe stay here for, uh, you know, uh, five seconds so you can kind of see where it's at and then go back behind the golfer. Because I really do like that, that 3D flight. But it's so simple to go back and forth to the detailed view and have all this. 
All right, so you can change how uh, hard the landing surface is. If you're looking at doing that, that's, that's available. So I just kind of have it in the middle right now. Um, you can change your clubs, everything. So very, very simple to go out and do range practice. Now there are other things. Okay, so um, club distances. You can basically select your club, hit some shots. It's gonna show you the averages uh, between all of your data. All right, so exactly what it is. Now coaching is a little different. I will show you this really quick. Um, it's a different depiction of data. So let's say that you're working on something and you want a different view of, for instance, club path. Well, it's a really nice graphical depiction of club path. So um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hit like a, a inside out draw. All right. And let's say that you have a golfer that's hitting these, you know, big sweeps and they don't quite understand what's going on. Well, you can actually now show them, look, see where the club is coming from the inside, causing the ball to take off to the right. You can talk about the whole path to face ratio and everything. I'm not a golf instructor. I'm not going to go over that, but I wanted to show you the capabilities that it has. Now, if you wanted to access other things, you can inside of here. So here is an entire layout of all the data just by clicking that button. You can actually expand these. So you could bring that up if you want to have a bit bigger depiction. You can make the range larger on here, and then you also can just switch between them as well. So it's a whole different view of all the data that you have available. So I wanted to show that really quick for you guys. Um, and then let's show approach shots because this is actually a lot of fun. So they actually have kind of like a, a practice facility set up for you. And you just drag to aim right on the screen. And here's a little 150 shot down here. We'll actually see if I can uh, manage to hit like a nice little soft cut um, if I'm lucky enough here. 150. There's that little cut. Did it take off enough distance? I wish it would have started a little further to the left, but great, you know, way to go out, set yourself a fun target. You know, there's island greens and everything and work on shot shaping, whatever it may be. So, um, and it has everything. I mean, there's the island green at 125 yards. There's another one at 100 yards. You can see there's driver even 275, 60 yards, and there's even a little chipping green. All right, at 30 yards. So tons of stuff available on this. Now let's go to challenges. All right, so this is cool. There's closest to the pin, long drive, target golf, skills challenge. I mean, this is a lot of fun because there's a leaderboard too. So you know, if you wanted to go, you know, do a uh, closest to the pin out, out here, you can actually do that at Spring Park Hills and you can actually, you know, compete against these other players. Now it looks like there's actually some hole outs that happened. That's, a, that's amazing. And they're all over the, the world. I mean, look at this, people from all over the world uh, competing in, the, in these different challenges. So it's really cool that they do that. And there's actual competitions as well. You can go out and play these competitions that they actually set up. Um, shootouts. So this is one that I think is probably going to be huge with the junior golfers, especially. I mean, adults have fun with this stuff too. Don't get me wrong, but super splash, boat blast, um, wrecking balls and getting the hole are actually newer. So let's go ahead and demonstrate those really quick. I'll show you this. Um, I have shown them in other videos if you want to see it, you know, in full, but I'm going to grab a wedge really quick. I think this shot is you know, 68 yards. So let's go ahead and just take this shot really quick and just show you what this looks like. I mean, imagine you're with a junior golfer, you know, you're trying to get their attention and focus on golf and say, hey, you know, why don't you blow this, you know, pile of bricks up for me? And then what's interesting is, is that you're actually working on distances. So little do they know, you know, you're out here, um, you know, playing golf, working on distances, but really they get to have fun and, you know, blow up different buildings and things like that. So um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to show you that other one as well. It doesn't take a bunch of data and put it all over the screen or anything because it just gives you an opportunity to just focus on having fun and making shots. All right. Um, you do have your data though on the screen of your GC3, Quad, Bushnell Launch Pro. So if you wanted to, you could glance down and have your data at the same time. All right, so one more game I figured I'd show you guys because it's newer is uh, the whole IO, which actually that's what it, it, it's after the very popular software whole IO, um, but it's their own version. All right, so you can drag to aim, all right, wherever you're going for. And essentially what you do 
is, let's just go in the middle, that's fine, is you hit this and it creates a hole for buildings and stuff to fall in. So similar shot, maybe a little bit less. I'm gonna hit one down there. It's gonna land, it's gonna create a hole and things are gonna fall into it. So once again, just a fun game where you can go out, you can work on distances. It does have that easy, medium, hard, which will change things up for you and make it, you know, you can kind of go step level up, you know, as uh, skills get better. And then let's do one more here. Let's do virtual golf. And I wanna show you something a little different. I'm not gonna go out and play a full, you know, uh, you know, course or anything for you right now. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna select three holes, uh, stroke play, individual, all that's fine. Um, you can have like a shot down, uh, a shot count, countdown timer, which just kind of makes it like as a challenge. Um, mulligan decision time, if you wanna do that, you can have mulligans. But see how it has pentagon and even as hexagon, you can play these courses long and full. All right, um, but you can also go all the way down to circle and essentially turn it into a junior golf course, in my opinion, is kind of what it would be. All right, so you could take your junior golfers out here. You can see it now takes it down to a 163 yard hole and it just makes it a much more easy approach for them. Um, you could turn on wind if you want to, there's different things. Um, it even has penalties when you land in the sand and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and just hit a shot. So 163 yards, there's no uh, putting on Awesome Golf. It just works with auto putt. There's a gimme circle, and then I think it two putts uh, from there. I don't know if there's three putt. It might be three putt uh, within a certain distance. Oh, I think I just kind of left that face just a little bit open, didn't catch all of it, and left it a little bit short. That's all right. So two putt from there, and it's a birdie. Um, it, it makes golf fun. I mean, and you do have data that splashes up too. So all that's available. Your auto continue, you can pause if you want to. Um, and then look at here, now it's a par five, 242 yards, and it's a whole different hole as well. So this, it really, honestly, and I don't know if you guys noticed or not, if you haven't seen those earlier virtual uh, golf videos I did with Awesome Golf Simulator software, the, the graphics are starting to improve. They're starting to enhance the graphics and everything. But the whole intention was is, is to make this work on a wide platform of hardware. So, you know, uh, more entry level PCs, like I said, older iPads and stuff, it even works on an iPhone, um, you know, and they do that to give more accessibility, you know, which I think is very smart. You know, it's a different approach. So understand that. Um, but if you guys have any questions, comment below, let me know what you think. You know, if you're using this, you have any questions, maybe you have something to suggest to the developer. I talk to these guys all the time, comment below. Let them know what you'd like to see. You know, they're listening. Um, they're an awesome team over there at Awesome Golf, no pun intended. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, pin it at the top of the comments and put it in the description. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned, there'll be a lot more coming soon.